so if you are a student, a grader, a TA for a course, and you are using Canvas as a learning management system, very quickly I'm going to show you how you can grade assignments or exams. So right now I am within Canvas inside a course site for one of my class that I taught in the spring this year and I am going to go to grades on the left panel which will basically display all the list of students on the left bar and on the top right you will see all the assignments exam one two all the homeworks uh, and quizzes labs and on the very right it will basically give you the average for each assignment this is the average score for this student for exams looks like this student was acing all the assignments and his average was 95.4 percent so say uh like i mentioned earlier you know this these are the assignments that have already been graded but say this is a new course and you are trying to grade homework number one and you go to this student over here you click this cell right now it displays the score for that student but if this assignment has not been graded you'll see it basically a file icon so click on that cell and you click on this right arrow which will open a pane on the outside on the on the right side so this panel right here you go to speed grader and it will open this page right here with tools on the top and you use these tools over here to grade the assignment okay so on the very left you basically see this is a button for downloading the PDF then you can navigate through the pages using these arrows right here you can change the orientation here you can zoom in if you like okay so that's, that's pretty good you can change the screen size to full screen this is basically just an arrow for the selection and this right here for uh, point annotation so say someone has got the uh, most significant bit wrong so I can just point over here and leave a comment most significant bit should be zero something like that and I click enter and it basically automatically saves everything on the canvas and when you submit students should be able to watch these you press escape and you can get out of the full screen next thing is highlight uh, in the strike through these two tools may not work if they because I, I don't think it has a built-in OCR so it really cannot detect the characters so and anyhow I don't think so that you will be using but a highlighter basically would allow you to select a color and then highlight uh, a text and then strike through would do something similar you just pick a color of your choice and then uh, go over the text and that would basically leave a strike uh, on the text here is the text so again by choosing the text you can choose the color of your liking obviously because you're a grader you will choose red you can choose a background or no background so say if I don't choose a background and I go with this font size I should be able to click anywhere where I want to leave a comment and I may say okay good work nicely done okay exclamation mark hit enter or just click anywhere and then it should allow you to uh, leave a comment anywhere you just click okay if you want to delete something you can click on the text in this delete icon when you when you hit on it it should allow you to delete that comment you have this annotation free draw annotation tool you can use that to you know for whatever you want to use it for you can basically it's you know just like any other annotation tool you can change the color if you like or the line thickness over here and lastly you have this box right here so say if you want to 
do something like this. You should also be able to move it around. You should be also be able able to leave a comment. Say um, your least significant bit should be zero, something like that. And again, just hit enter, and that's it. Okay. Now, on the right over here, what you see is top right the name of the student. And if you click on this arrow, it will take you to the next student. You see that right now the average is 89.22 on this homework one. There are 117 students in the class. 116 have submitted the assignment. One person did not submit the due date and the course number and all. Okay, so on the right looks like I had the rubric for it. Okay, so there were problem one and problem two all the way they were prob six problems and for each problem there was a rubric so if i click over here view longer description it says one point each so problem one looks like how much was it it was 10 points right so one point each there must have been yeah so that's problem one a b c d all the way goes to j so that's 10 parts problem one has 10 part each part is one point so that should be straightforward you can also move this uh, the size of the window you can shrink it by uh, using this line okay now here someone problem one okay you might want to leave a comment say show all your work half points deducted, deducted correct and then if you want to because there's a good chance that someone else may have done the same error that they were not showing their all the steps and they just jumped onto the answer so you can click here and this will save this comment for reuse so next time when you change when you when you grade an assignment you can click here in the downward arrow right here and then choose this comment right now it's not gonna appear because I have not hit the submit button but once I do that which is at the very bottom right here it should appear over here and then you can choose it so that that way you don't have to write again and again and because half point deducted so this person will get five correct okay similarly you can do it for the other problems I'm gonna go down to the bottom to problem number six so let's say it says five points for two is complement, three points for one is complement, and two for sine magnitude. Okay. Similarly, this is out of 10. So if I want to give the same comment, so let me say save. And then I go here. view rubric go to problem number six and this time I am going to okay yeah so that comment was specifically saved for problem number one so it should be over here let's see yeah show all your work half points deducted okay so that's what I wanted to show you and then similarly over here if you leave a comment you can check here and then it will save for problem number six and then once you hit the save button it will save everything submit would mean the score has been submitted and then you should you should be able to click on this arrow and then move on to the next student okay so that's how the grading part is gonna work it's very simple um, easy to use I want to show you a few other things on the grading sheet. I can also filter all these scores by section. Uh, so if I want to see how section three did, I should be able to do that and get the averages and then compare the averages section by section. Uh, I'm for now I'm gonna just leave it to all section and say I want to see what's going on on exam one. So you when you when you hover your cursor around here you'll see these three vertical dots you click here you can sort you can sort scores by grades high, low to high or high to low or if you want to see like 
who were late in submitting the assignment or who just completely did not uh, submit the assignment. SpeedGrader will take you to the same window that I just showed you. Message students who, so say those who did not submit, you, you can say, so it looks like there were two students who did not, and you can say, okay, I'm giving you extension till next Monday, please submit your assignments. And similarly, there are a couple of more options, scored less than, so say someone who, all students who scored less than 60, you want to give them one more chance to reappear in the exam so that they can bring their average up. Curve grades, it basically tells you, you know, how everyone did in the class. And it looks like the average score is around 60 here. Um, and then this basically, you know, uh, allows you to curve the grades for the class. Let's move on to the next thing. You can set the default grade to something. I usually set it to zero. Um, if you want to hide grades from students, you can do that. Enter grade as points or percentage. Usually I leave it to points, not percentage. And then grade, uh, enter grade, uh, grade posting policy. Okay. I usually keep it to manual because I don't really publish the grade until unless I have graded all the assignments because it it then does create a confusion among students. Some students may talk about like, hey, you know, I got this much score in exam one and the other person will say, hey, mine not even got graded. So it just creates a chaos. So I usually set it to manually and then I just publish the grades. If you set it to automatically, this means when you put a grade right here, so say if I put a grade right here in 94 and I press enter, it's visible to the student if I have set it to automatic. Okay. So, and also right here, there are a few action buttons. Again, if you want to export this sheet to Excel, you can also do that. You can also change your view, uh, set your filters uh, if you, if needed. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you can play with it. So that's how the basic use of the grading sheet, uh, grading tool, speed grader within the canvas. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.